Why becoming nobody was the best thing that ever happened to me. From the moment you're born, you're taught how to become a functional member of society, how to become successful according to a certain standard. And research has shown that most humans um, will reach a point in their lives where they start to think, mm, is this all that there is? And I've worked with a lot of people who are high achievers, who've done very well in life, and who may be even doing work that they love. But there might come a point where they start to question, what's beyond this? Is this all there is? Is this all that I am? And this is, and this is the point at which becoming nobody is an important part of the journey. So letting go of the somebody that you've become and allowing, being willing to let go of it all. Now, letting go of it can be quite scary. Having been there myself, I can attest to the fact that it can be terrifying at times because you're letting go of everything you know, your personality, your habits, uh, everything you think you've gained. And it feels like you might be falling into a kind of void or a kind of emptiness and the unknown. But that is part of the process it is not the final destination so i want to assure you if you're going through this or feeling anxious or worried which can then keep you stuck or keep you going backwards and forwards and never fully embracing the next phase of your life and career or what's really possible for you it passes so it's not really that you become nobody but you have to be willing to you have to be willing to let go of it so that you can sort of transform into this new form and the, the overarching principle I would say is that society cannot tell you who you are that's something you have to discover for yourself and the reward on the other side is a greater sense of fulfillment it's a sense that there's nothing missing anymore yet there's more of a sense of joy a sense of knowing um, I, I had a lot of answer, questions on my mind ever since I was a teenager, pretty much, or even a child. And on the other side, I feel that I finally got my answers. And they weren't what I thought they were. They weren't scientific answers. They weren't intellectual answers. They were a sense of deep knowing. But it's something you have to experience. There's no point me really telling you about it. However, I do want to share a few things that might reassure you if you're going through this. And one of them is that uh, there's great wisdom in facing the fear of becoming nobody and giving it a go, giving it a try, because it creates contrast in your mind. And the mind learns through contrast. It learns through comparing and, and extracting um, knowledge or knowing of what's true. So allowing yourself to face the fear and, and see what happens when you let go of a title or a role. For me, I stopped applying for jobs. So... I was just in a completely new space, a completely new mode of functioning, and I ended up in a place where I had no title, which meant that I had to invent one, or one just came eventually. But the, the contrast is what enabled me to access that new um, information, that new experiential uh, information that translated into some more concrete things eventually. So within the contrast, so that there's great wisdom in the contrast you create through embracing nobodiness. Or embracing the process. Secondly, you don't need a role to live your purpose. You don't need a title to be of service. So that's um, one of the um, illusions or the assumptions that are not helpful that you might have grown up with or been taught. You, you don't need any of those things to actually start living and doing what you really want. So um, I think this is uh, more obvious with new generations that are coming into the workforce who are saying, I don't want to wait until my retirement to be able to be fulfilled or live a, a life that I enjoy. I don't want to have to make a certain amount of money or have a certain title before I start helping people and do things that I'm passionate about. I want to do both at the same time. And then the creative work is in finding the, those ways that are, go beyond the old models of work and success. And finally, in aloneness lies great power. So one of the things that, uh, one of the fears is that, that comes up as you uh, embrace or be willing to drop into nobodiness is that you might feel cut off. You're like, well, who, who you know, I'll just be alone. Be no, there's no one with me. I'm kind of leaving my tribe. I'm going to die. And that's a very primal instinct. So it's very strong, but it's not true. You're not going to die. Uh, I just spent time alone in my flat, but I didn't die. Uh, <laughs> So you, you go through this process, but it gives you more power, more, you can call it more confidence, more courage, because you realize you can survive 
uh, in a new way through being interdependent in new ways and maybe even with new people and new communities. But that process in the middle is necessary where you might feel alone for a little while. You might feel cut off for a little while because you're saying goodbye to your old tribe potentially. And you might even go back to your, uh, to your old tribe or your old community or your old relationships, but in a new form. So the message here is if you're feeling fear and anxiety over letting go of your role, your title, your whatever you, your internalized models of success might be, it's okay. It's normal. That is actually the path forward. And the only way to the other side is through this, is by facing this and allowing yourself to become nobody so that you can live your highest life. I hope this is helpful. I wish you a wonderful week and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.